Hey guys, Mr. Abby's Missing, bringing you episode 9 of Tales of Zillia. In the last episode, we made it to Mila's Shrine, and now we're kind of heading back to try to see if we can not get into Fenmont and destroy the plant of Kresnik. That's basically everything that happened. Well, at least that's what they want to do. We'll see what actually happens. So, um, I did, of course, my little item grinding, so I have a lot more collectibles. Um, as such, no one's actually leveled up because I tried to avoid combat. Um, and then because we got Alvin back in the party, he's actually level 22. So let's go ahead and address his Liliamore problem. So we're going to auto-level him, and he's going to get Punishing Shot. And then that will expand his Liliamore, and then, well, he's pretty much good from there. Um, oh, I guess I actually have 4 GP for Judah Mila. Huh. Anyway, so Mila gonna auto-level her. HP Restoration Guard, Earth Guard, and Bolt Strike. Sounds good to me. Uh, it's probably somewhere over here. Anyway. And then as for Jude, let's go ahead and complete this string right here. Because we can. This will get him well vitality. Um, gosh, there's a lot of stuff over here. But, oh, strength is going to be kind of important. Um... Vitality. Well, since we're already actually a good chunk down this path, let's go ahead and increase over here. Since we do need agility in order to, well, advance the Lillian Warbs. Alright, I think that'll be it for leveling. I'm going to go ahead and throw Vitality on Jude because I have the skill points for it. Um, let's see. Mila didn't really get much, so I'm going to actually remove Flash Guard and then give her Earth Guard. As for Alvin, um, he's pretty much fine as he is for now. So, that's pretty much it for that. So, let's go ahead and get into Hamel. Hamel? Galia Trail. Mm. Oh, Galia Trail. I completely forgot that Galia Trail is along the way. Huh. Weird. Well, hopefully you guys don't mind. There's plenty... There's um, some skits on the way that will come with the passing of time, so I'm just going to kind of collect on items, generally try to avoid battles since these guys are going to give significantly worse experience in gold. So you don't have to worry about there being too much combat, I'm just kind of looking around for items more or less. And just as a side note, um, I have missed a few items in pretty much every place. So there's sometimes new locations for items and whatnot. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to kind of grab on the way, or what's on the way, and then just work from there. Because don't need to see you guys necessarily me, see me do this, but I do need to do it. Well, more or less. Alright, luckily Galia Trail is only a two-region section, so... I'm just going to go ahead and grab everything on the way, and I should probably stop ignoring the fact that there is a skit available. You guys have probably been screaming at me that there's a skit available. So, once I get towards the end of the trail I think I'm going to actually no I'm going to do it right now I'm in a pretty good spot oh boy that handmaid of yours is a piece of work I don't value his temper but he is quite skilled he said he's been serving you for years yes he cleans up the shrine he runs errands always with a lot of enthusiasm he buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits what wow your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes, the clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. Interesting, Ivar. Interesting. Anyway, so just keep going along the trail. No need to branch off, even if there are items to grab. I'm getting more and more jet black feathers. I've been gathering quite a few of those lately. Then of course, gold is always nice. Alright. Looks like there's basically a bag here, and I think we're going to be good to head into Hamel. Um, yep, that looks good. So let's go ahead and hand it to Hamel. Where are those? Well, really nothing. The road this way leads to a rocky area known as Kajara Sea Falls, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, but as... You can probably note in the side map, I can't actually go straight to Alati Sea Haven. In fact, that area is off limits, as is Alati Trail. 
So I do actually have to go through Hamel. Plus, we do need to see what's going on up here. Which, so let's go ahead and head to the Eastern District. Get out of here! This is all your fault, you evil brat! What's the big idea? You okay? Do you have any idea what you people put us through? Is this Rashigal's doing? They couldn't find us, so they took it out on the village. Leave here at once! You outsiders are nothing but trouble! She was like a completely different person. Let's see if the villagers know anything about Rashigal's activities. Don't forget, we'll be leaving soon. Gotcha. Thank you. Scram! Your kind isn't welcome here! Scram? What happened to the down-home hospitality you showed us when we got here? <laughs> Worry not. We'll soon be on our way. But if you keep acting like that, we just might have to stay here longer. What do you want from me? I want to know what happened to Rashigal's forces. Have they left? <laughs> Chief Zhao drove them off. Chief Zhao? Let me guess. Big guy? Funky beard? Yes. Things could have gotten a lot worse if not for him. Hmm. So what happened to this Chief Zhao of yours? Don't ask me. We've been living a nightmare here ever since he brought that accursed girl with him. He should have taken her with him when he left. In any case, we're through with outsiders here. Alright, so let's go ahead and chase off because that's clearly what Jude wants to do. I just said her name, didn't I? Oopsie. <laughs> anyway, so now we can actually head into the basement. talk don't worry I won't hurt you hi there we've met once before right well, hey! oops clumsy little guy aren't you this is Tipo he won't hurt you and this is Ellie but you should call her Elise. Nice to meet ya. Uh, <laughs> uh, nice to meet you too. Um, both of you. Um, are you okay? Sure, just thrown for a loop. My name's Jude. Well, hey, Jude. Thanks for helping us out before. Thank you. So what exactly happened? Can you tell me? 
Well, first, all these meanie men showed up from who knows where, someplace far away. Then, the big man whooped them all. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy. But then he wandered away somewhere. Right! That's when the meanie men started bullying the villagers. Is the big guy a buddy of yours, Elise? No. He's a bad guy. He locked Ellie up. We arrived here together in Amnes. But they started chucking rocks at us the second we stepped outside. Those meanies. <sighs> Jude? Oh, sorry. Are the two of you waiting for friends here or something? Friends? We don't have any. Well, you do now. Huh? Oh. Well, hey! Jude is our pal! Hmm. Mind if I tell my friends about you, Elise? Why? I don't like the way the villagers here treat you. I want to ask my friends if there's anything we can do. Sure, why not? Jude's our pal. We can trust him. Right, Ellie? Thanks, Elise. You just wait right here. Oh, you want to come with? All right. So, um, I don't think... Oh, actually, we can grab a porridge. And that's basically all that's really down here, other than, well, Elise. Oh, and apparently... Oh. Oh, hey. Resting point. That's actually good. <laughs> because, you know, can't exactly rest with the mayor anymore, because she kind of just hates us. Anyway, so let's go ahead and head back to Mila and crew and see, well... What about Elisa's situation, I guess? Hey, there you are. Oh, it's the doll girl. We're finished here. We didn't learn anything useful. It's time to go. Wait, we need to talk. It's about the girl. Now the villagers do seem to treat her like a pariah. Until that big fellow Zhao returns, I don't see her situation improving. But Elise insists Zhao isn't her friend. He locks her up when he's around, and the villagers treat her horribly when he's away. Sounds like she's stuck between a jerk and a hard place. Unless we bring her with us. Bring her with us? And then what? Have you given this any thought? You do remember my mission. Yeah. <sighs> Very well. She can come. Really? Jude, do you remember what I told you at the falls? Huh? Be yourself and do what you have to do. That's what I said to you. Yeah, I remember. Those words still apply. Can I assume your decision to bring the girl is just another step in your path? That it will help you find the answer you seek? Y yes Then tell Elise she's coming. You got it. That was nice of you. She won't affect my mission. If she slows me down or gets herself in trouble, I'll just leave her behind. My intent from the beginning was to do this alone after all. All right, and it looks like we're pretty much ready to go. Party members have changed. We have Mila and Alvin, and we have Elise as a guest in our party, that, because that's what that looks like. So don't get your hopes up. She's not a playable character. 
Anyway, so we're going to escort Elise wherever. Um, yeah, see, I can't even get to an equipment or arts menu, so I can't actually do anything with her. Um, so we're pretty much ready to go, so let's get the fuck out of this hellhole that it has become, I guess. Poor Elise. Gets pegged with stones and locked up. Well, glad that she's now out of the village and with us. She'll be a lot... Well, in a lot better situation. So, with Elise in our party, and as I start collecting items, we have now a viewable skit. An awkward introduction. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and view that. Oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludus. Hello. Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise. Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally. Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way. I'm arguing with a stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? Anyway. So, let's go ahead and just grab what we can find on the way. Upgrading shops is a good thing after all. Alright. Let's see. Looks like there's a collectible over here, and that'll pretty much be good. Um, yep. Let's go ahead and head to the south region of Aladi Sea Haven. Um, just kind of waiting to see if any skits pop up or whatnot. Because if they don't, well, they don't. But sometimes it just kind of takes a little bit of time, it seems like. So, I'm trying to give it that time so I don't, like, gloss over anything or miss anything. Okay. This is the correct course. Let's just dodge all these enemies because they're even shittier than the ones on Gallia Trail. Um, okay, I think that's pretty much it. Good, so let's go ahead and head to Aladi Sea Haven once more. And here we are. And we've actually got a pair of quest markers here, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. Okay, so this guy needs soda rice. I believe I actually have one. Um, guess not. Um, and then girl over here had a quest as well. Okay. Looks like we need to go rescue someone, apparently, for the sea haven and whatnot. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of take care of the first thing, which is the food. Gonna grab a soda rice. It's unfortunate that I, well, stopped buying those because that would have made that a little bit easier. I'm just gonna kind of look around here, see if there's anything here. I'm not seeing any quest markers or anything, so we should be fine. I uh, never know where you might find a, a hidden item, though. Alright, looks like there's nothing here. Maybe on the box, but I'm not checking that. So let's get this guy to soda rice. We're actually going to head back into Galia Trail and we're going to go ahead and take care of those monsters. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So we got bushy eyebrows and 1200 gold. Um, if I'm going to guess, we were probably supposed to at some point or another come back um, to this area, um, which is why. We're getting slightly worse rewards than 
previous. So, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and head over to this area. And then fulfill the quest. Return to Aladi. And then we can, well, move on and see if we can't get ourselves to Fenmont or whatever. Alright. Where is the lake area? It's over here, if I remember correctly. No need to waste time. Well, I say that, and yet I just kind of head straight for collectible items. But who can blame me when the shops com are completely dependent on what you grab and how much gold you invest in them? Although, I'm not going to invest gold because that's just inefficient. Oh, can't get that item. We're just going to rescue the mercenary. And it looks like stuff from, well, Galia Trail, so none of these guys are new. They're pretty easy. Ow. Oh, well, regardless, they still give some good stuff. I don't know what's up, and we've completed our quest. Alright, so I'm going to grab this bag. And then we're going to go ahead and fast travel back to Aladi Sea Haven. Alright, that makes life a lot easier, the fast traveling does. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to her. And as a reward, we get a sheathed dagger and 1,200 gold. Alright, so our next quest marker is actually over here. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get into Fenmont. Excuse me, when is the next ship leaving for Fenmont? I'm afraid the Rashigal government has blockaded the capital and its surrounding regions. That means all scheduled voyages to Fenmont have been cancelled. We apologize for the inconvenience. Are any ships sailing? Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, but the route to Sapstrath Seahaven is still open. Would you like a ticket to Sapstrath Seahaven? Very well. Please board the ship and await departure. That's not something you see every day. You get your mail by carrier pigeon? Something like that. It's how I keep in touch with someone special from afar. I told her a beautiful woman has appeared in my life. Hey, I didn't know you were married. <laughs> Do I look like the marrying type to you, Mr. Honor Student? Huh? You mean you're not? Who knows? Oh, looks like we're about to depart. Yeah. Wow! I've never seen the sea before! Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tifo! Look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in! She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I've still got the key. But how much time does it buy me? Mila? You see something? No, I was just thinking. Elise, what are you going to do now? I... I don't know. Hmm. Huh. What exactly do you know? We know Jude and Mila and Alvin are our pals! That's not the sort of thing I meant. What is Tipo, for instance? How can a doll talk? What do you mean, what's Tipo? 
You're looking at him. I'm Tipo. I'm Ellie's pal. Having a conversation with you is quite difficult. We don't seem to be on the same page. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was going to shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right, got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. I wonder how tight Rashigal's security is right now. Mila! Mila's our pal! Oh. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could have gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Oopsie, we dropped the bombshell. Let's see. Well, there's actually quite a lot to do. Um, actually, we've got a sub... Um... Sub skit, which is actually... The first time that we've come across this instance, so let's go ahead and view it. Trust me, the beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right, I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? And also, the suspicious sailor. Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh! I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. All right. Well, actually, the sailor that he's talking about is actually over here at this end. So let's go ahead and approach him. Hey, buddy. 
I know our little lady's cute and all, but could you stop leering at her? Oh, sorry. I just couldn't help but notice that stuffed doll she's got. You want a piece of Tifo, pal? Aha! I knew it! This one talks, too! You mean you've seen a talking doll like this before? Oh, yeah. They look just like that one. That might be Tifo's family! Where did you see it? A traveling merchant was selling them here a little while ago. He said he was heading west. That must be Sherilton. So there might be other Tipos besides Tipo? That is a possibility. I want to meet my family! Wow. These new toys are so impressive. Now I wish I'd bought one for my daughter. Anyway, this is probably our first instance of a, well, multi-part side quest. Oh, there's actually a sailor down there who's got a quest for us as well. So let's go ahead and see what he wants down here. Let's see. Looks like he has a... Well, he wants us to deliver something. So, we'll, well, deliver that. Uh, let's see. There's actually no music in this area. Um, looks like there is a quest over here. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. like I want to eliminate some monsters in the Sapstrath Deepwood. Cool. Well, we'll get right on that. Oh, and I accidentally stepped too close to the place. And thus, we're going to be viewing this, which is actually not exactly optional. As soon as you approach the exit towards the, or the exit of the Sea Haven, um, we're gonna be talking to this guy. The reason why is because, well, he's got some interesting information to give us. So, many years ago, a guy named Trill, good at controlling monsters, um, tampered with their mana loads. If you remember the giant rock dude, um, that one had a, like, oversized mana load, which is why it got so humongous. So... Six new monsters were created with hyper-enlarged mana lobes, which made them absolutely humongous. Um, each monster had a, has a weapon growing out of its body. Um, and they're dubbed the Devil's Arms and the monsters themselves the Devil's Beasts. So, throughout the world, these are actually, um, well, <laughs> they are throughout the world, these Devil's Beasts, even though... Alva's not going to believe them initially, I think, but they exist, and they are really fucking tough to destroy. Um, but if you do take out the Devil's Beast, you get their Devil's Arms. Um, but, of course, there's... So what's keeping this Tifo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, they're, it, they're quite tough to take down. It will be a while before I'm able to take them down. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk to her, because she's got a quest for us. She wants a poison stinger. Well, we'll get that to her when we can. Let's see here. And, well, time's pretty much up. I'm not going to start the hook for the um, next quest line that Alvin was talking about. So I'm going to just go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for joining me. This has been Mr. Abby's Missing, and I will see you in the next video as I run around in circles.